All right, so I ran 110 in my trailer. Just have an outdoor box. Bought an extension cord and put another male end on it. This is supposed to be one of those boxes you can shut, but maybe that aftermarket plug's too big. Anyway, junction box. We got light switch for my two lights, two plugs. I got a little carried away on the zip ties. Uh, let's see. Got four plugs up here. This is going to be where I charge all my power tools and stuff. I just got to get more chargers and more batteries. Still got to clean that wire a little bit. These um, shop lights are sold at Harbor Freight for 20 bucks. They're four foot. Only problem is they're designed to be hung with chains, so I just put the chain over, put a self tapper in it, onto one of the links. So it works, it'll hold it anyway. And they link together, so I wanted to. I literally just plugged it into the other one. I was real happy with my little fold-out table. Works good. Right now I just got my charger mounted here until I can get a few more of them. It's so nice having 110 in here. Now the next thing I want to do is I bought this inverter from my buddy yesterday. It's a 2,000 watt, 4,000 watt uh, surge. And when you turn it on and hook it up to a battery, it'll start reading whatever the voltage of the battery is. In this case, it was like 13. And it'll start reading some amps and it'll just, everything shuts off and starts beeping. I don't know too much about inverters, but I got a good deal on it. So I'm wanting to fix that inverter so I can mount it up there on my battery that I have up there. And then I can just plug it into that outlet and it'll power the trailer on the road when I don't have a house to plug into with my outside plug. So I could have 110 to power my lights even off in the desert if I had to. Not that I'll ever be going to the desert, but I don't know too much about inverters or why they beep and not work. Anywho, that's where we're at currently on the trailer.